Science. Organ transplants have been a life-saving development and one of the shining success stories of modern medicine. But the shortage of organs for transplantation is an ongoing problem. One answer is to grow them artificially in a laboratory, a promising, if controversial, solution. Simple lab-grown organs are already being used in patients, but challenges remain in creating complex parts. For this, researchers are now experimenting with pig's livers. Pigs, they're, um, the size is closer to a human liver, so if we're able to decellularize and put cell, human cells back in there, it could help with the shortage of organs that are needed for patients who are suffering from liver disease or people who need kidneys. Researchers start by washing piglet livers in a process called decellularization, which removes the pig cells but leaves the underlying structure intact. The hope is to put human liver cells into that structure to see if they can grow and multiply into a fully functioning human liver. Many different cell types to create these tissues and organs, but our preference is to use the patient's own cells and the patient's own organ-specific cells, because those cells already know what to do. A windpipe cell already knows that it's a windpipe cell, and it's going to create a windpipe cell for that patient that will not be rejected or kicked out. The lab is also trying to make kidneys with 3D printers, using cells as the ink. It's an exciting development, but the ability to grow and implant complex vital organs in humans is still a long way off.